let's talk about burrowing barnacles. This is a burrowing barnacle. Now there are many species of burrowing barnacle all in the same infraclass, the infraclass Acrothoracica. Now these guys are quite different from pretty much every other species of barnacle. Instead of attaching themselves on the outside of something like a rock or a ship or an animal like a sea turtle or a whale, they burrow into calcareous materials. These burrowing barnacles are completely lacking in the kind of hard outer shell that most other barnacles have, and they're also way, way smaller, only being a couple of millimeters long. Since they don't have that hard shell, they rely entirely on the burrow in which they constructed to protect themselves from predators. They burrow into any hard calcareous material such as the shells of mollusks, the structure of coral, even the outside of sea turtle shells or into limestone. If you've spent a good amount of time on a beach or have done any significant amount of shelling, you've probably come across shells with these weird little patterns in them and that is because of the burrowing barnacles. Now what these guys do, after they are finished with their larval stage, they will go find somewhere to burrow, be it a shell or a sea turtle or something. They will burrow a little bit into that shell or other hard surface and just kind of hang out there. They are filter feeders of plankton and stuff, so they have these little tentacle-like structures called Siri, which just extend out of the hole and catch that floating plankton food. Now, depending on a bunch of different factors, these guys may or may not be harmful to the host organism. It really depends a lot on the species, the load, so how many barnacles there are on a certain individual, how deeply they bore into the shell, and a couple other things. These guys aren't necessarily super harmful, they are a little bit damaging the structural integrity of the shell, and if they burrow deep enough it does give an opportunity for infections to enter. But for the majority of the time, they're just maybe slightly annoying and aren't causing any super bad damage to the host organism unless there's like a whole lot of them or an infection occurs.